Hey out there all you viewers to be named later, how we doing today? I know, we got a big old black box on the table that says Bastion on it. I know we haven't brought a lot of these to the channel before, simply because of, well, where I want to keep the price range for an affordable everyday carry series. I'm looking more at a common person, not somebody who thinks you have to have a zero tolerance all the time. This one, I have been putting off this review for a little while, but I'm going to explain all that after we roll that intro. Alright everyone, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now I want to take one quick moment, get a couple quick housekeeping items out the way. If you like what you're about to see in this video, please go ahead and give me that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and I'm very, very appreciative of that. Especially with this new year creeping on, I'd like to grow to different levels. Now second, for you first time viewers of the channel, I'm going to take a special moment of this video and talk directly to you. I want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you're choosing one of mine. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel, and you long-time guys who've been subscribing, I should say, been watching, and have yet to subscribe, take a look right down here. You're going to see a little channel watermark popping up. Go ahead, hover over that thing, click on it, whatever it's going to take. It should pull up subscribe. Here's why you want to do it. I attribute this channel to like a burning clown car. Man, it's incredibly amusing, really funny, and sometimes educational. You never know what you're going to see. So that's why you're going to want to go ahead and do that. All right, as you saw by that opening, we're going to take a look at the Bastion Baron. When I saw this in Battlebox as its knife of the month for Mission 49, I knew I wanted one. Okay? There's a lot going on with this blade, <laughs> but it also gives me so many questions that I don't know if I could do a proper review because I know there's going to be somebody out there who is just going to go absolute ape shit and tell me how wrong I am, how much piece of crap I am, and all that fun. But here we go. We're going to get into the fun because I have never shied away from problems whatsoever. When this was released in Battlebox, Bastion said it was the first release onto the planet, and Battlebox members got it first. Well, it's not on Bastion's website. And as of February 10th, 2020, it is no longer on Battlebox's app or their store. But what confused me is I can find it on Amazon being sold by Battlebox on February 20th, 2020. So, excuse me, February 10th, 2020. I'm sorry for that. So, makes me go Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Now, i got some other stuff that's going to pop up as well, so bear with me because this is going to be different for any other review we've ever done. What attracted me to it was the carbon fiber scale with the solid brass bolster, not to mention they talked about it's a San Mai Damascus steel. Okay. Well... Now, there's that. And I'm going to talk about that here in a moment, okay? We're, we're, we're going to get there, but let me give you a couple stats. These stats are by Battlebox themselves. Like I said, not on Bastion's website. Overall, 7 and 7 eighths. Closed, it's 4, so the blade's got to be like 3 and 7 eighths. It weighs in, because I took out a little kitchen scale, at 5.12 ounces. Plain edge, I can't tell you the grind on it, because I can't find it anywhere. They say it has a ceramic ball bearing, but I am not breaking it down to open up and verify there's a ceramic ball bearing in there. Like I talked about, it's got a solid brass bolster. They call it a real carbon fiber scale. I'm assuming it's a stainless steel frame, and I'm not really sure on the coating on it, because you can see right, right in there where it's a little bit different. I can almost see brown. Or weird colors going on down there. I, I, I'm hoping you can pick it up, okay? And it's got a frame lock, and it has a one-position pocket clip, which is only tip up. Now, here's where a huge problem starts for me, okay? If any of you watch Forged and Fire, you know San Mai is basically like a steel taco. You've got your softer steel on the outside with a hardenable steel in the middle, and basically it wraps around, and that's what you know helps protect the stuff in the middle. 
<coughs> or switch that around. You got a softer steel in the middle and hardenable, but it's a steel taco. Not that. So I'm looking at this and I go, okay. What steel is what in here? Now with the mascus, it's layers. Okay, you stack layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer, and when you're, you know, making your um, blade lengthened out, that's what's going to cause that neat little pattern like you see right there. There's so many different kinds of Damascus, like ladder, raindrop, wave. There's just so many different things. So now you have two ways to make a blade going into one. The other huge problem that I have is normally with Sanmai um, designs, you have a massive Haman, and I hope I'm saying that right. It's a way where you can easily differentiate between the two steels, and it would be a very, very visible line. I don't see that there, okay? I see more of the same Damascus pattern going all the way down. Now, what gets me is... If you take a look right there, I don't see layers. Normally with Damascus stuff, you will see layers on a blade because you should. You know, up towards the top where it's all hammered out. You should see something, but I'm not seeing that. So that makes me go, is that laser etched? Because normally with Damascus, to draw out this beautiful pattern, you have to drop it in a little acid etching for a while, leave it in there and pull it out. I honestly feel that's almost overkill on a folding blade, all right? Now, when it came out in BattleBox, it had a $129 value. Currently on Amazon, if you search for Bastion Baron, it's running for $89.99, zero reviews, and sold by BattleBox. Now, don't get me wrong, all right? It's a beautiful blade, but it has raised so many questions. I put up stuff on social media asking about the blade steel, and everyone's like, oh, it's a Sandmai Damascus, dumb fuck, can't you read? I'm like, that's how you make the blade, it's not the steel that goes into the blade. I also emailed Bastion, and I have yet to get a response. I have been waiting over a month to get a response, so I said, screw it, I'm going to do the video. The other part I really didn't like it's got this like little nail, not, I wouldn't say nail neck, but that little elongated opening. It's really sunk in there, so trying to get it open with your thumb takes a bit of a struggle. Now, the ceramic ball bearing, it opens pretty quick, but, you know, it's just easier to do it that way to me. It's just a personal thing for me. Okay, <laughs> now that I've got all that out, and trust me, I'm not bashing BattleBox. I'm not bashing Bastion. It's a beautiful blade, the way it looks. Huge concern, because that's on the inside of your pocket, the brass bolster part. It's going to pick up a lot of scratches. I don't care about the patina. I care about scratching it up and possibly destroying the brass bolster. I also don't like the fact that you've got two very distinctive ways to make a knife being blended together. Now, when I Googled San Mai Damascus, I would either pick up stuff for Damascus or San Mai. I really hadn't seen anybody doing both. Now, I know there's going to be somebody out there who's going to point out that I'm wrong and this and everything, but that's what I found. Now, let's get on to the fun stuff like we usually do for a cut test, okay? If you're new to the channel, we usually only do three. First one up is heavy-duty stock paper. Oops. Could just be the paper because it's been sitting around for a little while. All right, let's see if we can get that little curly cue that we like to do. All right, I screwed that up a little towards the end, as you guys saw. The blade started moving out on me, but it is picking it up, so that's kind of cool. I really don't see any yellow flakes from the paper on the blade, so I like that. Paracord. No problem with a pull test. Let's just do the slice. Right through. <coughs> Alrighty, our friend Mr. Ratchet Strap. That's right, we got a new one in so we can cut him up and just have a bit more fun. Here we go. 
Not a problem. Kind of went right through that no problem. Wow. I'm actually impressed by that cut. That's from another one I did a little bit ago. That's the one from this plate. That's kind of impressive. And nothing really left behind on the blade. Okay, sorry to give you the pricing. There's really not a rating for it. I I'm just going to sum it up like this. It's a beautiful blade. I wish I could have got more information, and I wish I could get truth about the blade steel. Because I've never seen anybody do a sand my like that. All right? I, I just, I never have. And it literally, hopefully you can see that in there, it goes all the way around. All right? So, it's not like it's fake, it's just, you know, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. But with that being said, I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below. Seriously, I'm not bashing either company, I just wish I could get some more answers. So if any of you know the actual blade steel, I'd love for you to leave that comment down below. I'd also like to know if you think it's nice, or an F-bomb. Nice, or an F-bomb. I like it, it's a, like I said... Cosmetically, it's a very beautiful blade, the fit and finish and everything. I wanted it the moment I saw it. And I traded away a Topps Cub, the compact utility blade, for this guy. So, I think I got a good end on the deal. The guy I traded, he, he's happy, he loves the Cubs. I'm happy to have it. I, I just, I hate when I get a blade that has more questions than answers. Okay. So with that being said, for you first time viewers of the channel, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I know there's lots of options out there, like I said in the beginning of this one, and I'm grateful for the time that you gave me today. Now, I hope I earned a lot more of it. If I didn't, I just want to say thank you again, okay? Now, for you first timers and long time viewers who didn't do it at the beginning of this video, well, I'm going to ask you why, okay? Why haven't you subscribed yet? What could I do to earn your subscription? You know, we're growing, we're having fun, and I'd love to have as much along, um, as much of you along with us for the ride as possible. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below after I already tongue-tied that one up. <laughs> after you've done that, go ahead and look right down here. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please, if you so choose, destroy that bell icon that is right next to subscribe. By doing that, you're going to be able to notify yourself every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel are a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My tabletop look with a lot of questions for the Bastion Baron. Thank you so much for viewing this video, and I hope all of you have a great day today.